And some new allegations tonight about dozens of surveillance cameras used in the polygamous towns on Utah's southern border. Former security workers say cameras on public buildings, businesses, and homes were all linked together and used by fundamentalist sect leaders to track members and outsiders. Yeah, Lad Egan is live in southern Utah with new information tonight. Lad, security cameras are usually used to monitor for uh, criminal situations and crime, not necessarily, necessarily to monitor residents. Yeah, that's true. And in Mark and Shauna, we know these days the security cameras are everywhere. But what's raising concerns about the situation with the cameras out in these polygamous towns is that there are allegations that cameras owned by the cities or on private businesses or even homes were all linked together so that FLDS leaders could spy on members. Today I spoke with one of the men making these allegations. He says he used to sit in a control room controlling this network of cameras. We ran the cameras. Former FLDS security worker Guy Timpson is talking about these cameras. Dozens of them scattered around Colorado City and Hilldale. We literally could look right into their windows. The cameras are everywhere, sitting atop boarded up houses, two of them attached to one light pole, and at places that overlook the cities, like above these silos. Those lenses are powerful. They zoom far. You can pull license plates from half a mile away. Timpson knows so much about the cameras because he used to control them. There was approximately 30 monitors. Inside a control room, Timpson was told to keep tabs on everyone, especially troublemakers, and report back to FLDS leaders. As things went down, we documented everything that we saw. Attorneys for the city say cameras are only used to monitor police and fire stations and other city property. The attorneys say the cameras are not part of a larger network and not used by the church. We knew the city was was helping us with those cameras. But Timpson says otherwise, saying he was able to control cameras at various public buildings. Both fire stations, the city halls, both city halls, uh, the maintenance building shed. And this violation is going on every day. Willie Jessup, former bodyguard for Warren Jeffs, says he's seen the control room himself and confirms city cameras were used by the church. I hope that the city governments are held accountable by allowing Warren and his brothers to use city funds and the abuse of power to put them on their polls and then blatantly lie into the public. Again, attorneys for both those municipalities, Colorado City and Hilldale, say that their city owned cameras are not used by the FLDS church. Uh, members out there, former members, I should say, tell me that these cameras have been around for a long time, but they do notice new ones almost weekly and that the number of cameras has increased dramatically recently. Uh, Mark and Shauna, you know, something concerning for us as, as journalists is I asked these two men who say they used to work on the security team, what about us when we go into the towns to do our news reports? And they say, most definitely, from the moment we drive in, we are are tracked uh, where we go in those towns. Back to you. And, and you've been you've been there, lad, and you know it doesn't take long for somebody to drive up or you know if start you start following you. Yeah, start following. It happens pretty uh, pretty regularly. Yes, that's exactly right. When we go into town, as soon as we're in there for a little bit, large trucks, you know, they call it the God Squad, uh, come and follow us and try to intimidate us as we try to get the truth out there and find out what's going on. All right, lad. Thanks.